Hey, Zach, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you doing? Good, thanks. Um, what, uh, from the time that, that you knew you were leaving Minnesota to, to now, I guess, or to the time you agreed with, with the Islanders, what was that process like? And was this really where your focus was to, to join this team? Um, it was, you know, there's only two or three teams, probably three teams that I had um, interest in going to. And once I find out, found out that I was going to be leaving um, Minnesota, I mean, my focus shifted to, okay, where are we going next? And, and um, I think with, with almost having gone there a couple of years ago, um, you know, just been watching the team from afar and, and knowing Lou for a long time, I, I just thought that it would be a good fit. Um, and so, you know, it was, it, of course it was a tough decision, but I just felt like, uh, you know, I just felt like watching the team play and seeing it. I felt like I would fit in well there. Go ahead, Arthur. And, uh, you know, just knowing the history with your dad and, and the draft 18 years ago, does it feel like kind of a circle has been closed finally after all these years for you? <laughs> um, yeah, a little bit. I forgot about the, the, the draft thing. Um, but, you know, I, I think he, my dad loved his time out there. Um, you know, he played for some great teams and just just missed that dynasty of when they won the four cups. And, um, you know, there, there is a... You know, my mom was excited about it um, just from her spending time out there too. And um, again, it, it, it just felt like for me, it'd be a good fit, but there, there is that connection with, uh, with my dad having played out there and, and enjoying his time out there. Andrew Gross, Newstead. Hey Zach, good to talk to you. Uh, congrats. Um, Thank you. I just obviously you have a, a relationship with Lou that goes back a while. You know how significant was that? And also, you know, when you look around the room and you still see some familiar faces, you're going to be playing with Greener again. You know what? what what's just what's that like? And 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 what other similarities maybe do you see with what Lou is building here with what you had in Jersey? You know, leading up to 2012. I think um, there's you always feel like there's a certain way that lose teams play um, the way they compete, the way um, top to bottom, they'll just, you know, they, they always play the game the right way. And, um, and that was always the case in New Jersey. Um, and, and since then I had kept in touch with him um, off and on, you know, throughout the years. And um, so we, we've, we've kept our, kept the relationship there. And, and as far as the players and the team, I mean, um, I've skated with Brock for the last couple of years. Um, you know, I've known Anders a little bit, but playing with Greener for that long a time, having um, getting to be good buddies with him from New Jersey, you know, those those type of things help with the transition. Um, and just when you see some familiar faces in the locker room, um, you know, it's always hard going to a new spot. But I think when you have that comfort of guys that you know, um, guys you're familiar with, it just seems to ease the transition a lot. Go ahead, Andrew. And just uh, do you, I know it's a cliche, but, you know, getting bought out by Minnesota, does that put any kind of chip on your shoulder coming here to, to kind of prove that, that the wild made the wrong assessment in, in where you are in your career? Um, yeah, of course. I mean, a lot of, a lot of mixed emotions after that. Um, but, you know, still some, some sense of relief at the same time. And, um, but when something like that does happen, yeah, of course you want to uh, get back to work right away and, and be ready for the following season. Just to, you know, I, I know personally that, that that I've still got a lot of good hockey left in me, um, but you know, they didn't see it like that. And so um, to me, it, it made it a unique, but pretty exciting summer um, with just a little, you know, it's just a little extra motivation, like you said, um, to, to yeah, I don't know if the word is prove them wrong, but um, you know, just to know that for myself, and, and honestly, that was my mentality last year too in the playoffs when I wasn't playing. Is I know at some point I'm going to get in and I'll be ready, and 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 you know that carried over into the summer, and and you know that's that's been the mentality for the last little while. Alan created New York Times. Hi Zach, welcome back to the metro area. I thank you. Wanted to ask you welcome. I've talked a lot to the uh, illustrious alumni of the Islanders over the years, and to a man, they talk about 
how important that goal your dad scored in 1975 <laughs> was to where the franchise went from there. Have you talked to the Nystroms and the Gillies and the Denny Pot fans at any point? And just how meaningful is that for you to know your dad's impact on the franchise is just everlasting? Um, that, that's that's really neat to know. And yeah, when we go play the Islanders, you know, sometimes um, Bob Nystrom would be outside after the game and, and I had... Uh, our family had stayed with him out in Long Island a long time ago. So I'd met him then. And, um, and, and when Dennis Popman was calling our games, you know, chat with them after the game as well. And, and, you know, always spoke really highly of him and um, uh, of my dad. And, um, you know, for the longest time we had in my basement, we had some pictures of him scoring that goal and him shaking hands, I think shaking hands after the game. And, and um, so, you know, he, he, uh, I've always said he loved his time out there and, um, and was able to make an impact. And, and so, um, you know, hopefully I'm looking, looking forward to doing the same type of thing. Dan Rosen, NHL.com. Hey Zach. Good to see you. Talk to you. It's been a long time, Dan. How you doing? Yeah, I know. Well, maybe we'll see more of each other. Good. Um, it's a little harder, a little easier to get out to the call. Well, not the Coliseum, Long Island than yeah. uh, Minnesota for me. Um, you say this is a good fit for you, and I'm curious what makes you think this is the right fit for you, your style of play versus the style of play the Islanders have been playing. Um, I feel like like I was referencing with Lou's teams, just the competitiveness that they have um, up and down the lineup. I feel like that's always been one of my traits. Um, one of my one of my best assets is, is that competitiveness and um so I, I think that, you know, that part will, will mesh really well. Um, and yeah, you know, I just, like I said, just from watching them, watching the past few years in the playoffs, um, it, it just seemed really familiar to me um, with, with that style of hockey, that way that we played in New Jersey. And, and, and of course, you know, obviously things, you know, I always enjoyed my time and, and played well out there. So I just, to me, it just, in my mind, felt like it would be um, it'd be a good place for me. Go ahead, Dan, if you have a follow-up. Yeah, um, I guess at some point in a, in a player's career, they they have to at times, you know, reevaluate expectations. Or, do you do that, or is your expectation remain the same to be a scorer, to be a guy that's going to be, you know, putting the puck in the net and helping his team offensively in that way, continue to be on a, on a night to night basis? I mean, that's how I view it. Um, I view myself being able to contribute on the offense, um, but more more importantly, just you know, being a piece to the puzzle um, uh, and and fitting in with that group of team. I mean, they, they, they've they've already established themselves as one of the best teams in the league, um, you know, making to the conference finals the last couple of years. And um, you just want to be a piece of that puzzle. Like I was saying, um, you know, but I, I, I know my age, I mean, but I still know that I can play the game and, and, and score goals and, and, and be a part of, be a part of some offense. Um, so that part's never wavered. Um, it was just being put in a different, I guess, different situation last year um, made things a little more challenging. Anthony Fuchilli, MSG Network. Welcome back. Um, and just wanted to say, uh, you. have you had a chance to reach out? Have you had a chance to reach out to Andy or, 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 or do you know any of the teammates, uh, any of the players in the locker room? Yeah, like I was saying earlier, I've um, been skating with Brock and um, no Anders and I, I've, I've kept in touch, still remained really good friends with, uh, with Greener. Um, so I've chatted with him quite a bit and even Travis, um, I know he was just there for a little bit on the Island, but, um, talked to him, you know, quite a bit when he was there about it. And, um, and even in the summer, just text messages and chat with him about his time there. So, um, you know, doing a little, I guess a little homework on everything, but you know, I, those guys rave about it out there. So, um, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Christian Arnold, New York Hockey Now. Hey, Zach. Uh, congratulations on joining the Islanders. I was curious if, you, if you've had the, the opportunity to speak with Lou a little bit, uh, or, or Barry uh, as well, about what they envision your role being this season and, and kind of how you envision your role being uh, this season with the Islanders. I have spoken to them um, about that. 
Um, and they were both very upfront and honest, which I don't, you know, you wouldn't expect anything different out of them. Um, so I know, you know, going into the season, um, what their expectations are. And, and again, you know, my expectations are, are going in and fitting in on a really good team. Um, and, and I guess whatever is, whatever is asked you, you do it to the best of your ability. And, um, you know, again, it's, you know, they know the type of player that I am. I know the type of player that I am. Um, so there's no secrets there. Um, and, and, you know, I'm just, again, you, you just want to be a part of, of what they have there already. Peter Schwartz, New York Sports Day. Hey, Zach, welcome to Long Island. Um, Thank you. I, I just wanted to go back to, uh, to, to your dad's goal for, for a second. I'm just wondering if there was ever any times where you, you spoke to him about that goal and, and do you appreciate the, the significance of that goal that he scored, putting the Islanders on the map in 1975? Um, yeah, he talked about it a lot, believe it or not. <laughs> but he, you know, that was a, a big, a, a big part of his career that time out there. And, and like you referenced um, knocking off the Rangers, you know, for the Islanders knocking off the Rangers at that time and, um, the success that they ended up having after that. But yeah, he, I mean, that was his for the while, I think for a while he, he had the quickest OT goal, um, in the playoffs. So he, he loved to brag about that. Um, but he, he, he that was a proud moment for him being a part of the, that team and, and those teams out there and, and being able to score that goal to, to eliminate the Rangers. We'll go one last question. Corey Wright, Islanders.com. Zach, I'm just curious with the team moving into a new building at UBS Arena, just uh, how aware you were of the fact the team was getting a new building, how that factors in, and just your excitement for going there. Yeah, I, I was very well uh, or very aware of that going into a new building. Um, and, you know, it, that, that really didn't factor into the decision. Um, it's a lot of nice buildings in the league right now. And um, I, it was, again, it was more so the, the fit with the team and, um, but you know, that being said, I think anytime you're going to move into a state of the art rank, um, it's, that's an exciting time. And I, we had the same thing in New Jersey where we had just moved in the Prudential center and had to start nine on the road. Um, and so it, it's a similar situation, but just, I think for the fan base, for the players, um, to finally get that new building, um, out in Long Island, I think that's just going to be exciting for everyone with, with with where the team is at right now, um, now to get a new building, to add to, uh, to all that excitement. Um, you know, everyone, everyone should be looking forward to that.